Imagine a world created out of insanity. Deformed children, ancient gods, ghosts from your past in the house inside of a water reflection. You are an asylum patient and you have just survived a car crash. The problem is, you can't remember anything. Visions reveal answers to some questions, but create even more riddles. Which part of it is true? What do all these things mean? Hello everyone, welcome to Sanitarium, a psychological horror adventure game that came out in 1998. Yes, this is a very, very old game, as you might be able to tell, tell just from the... Keyboard configuration. Yes, thank you, game. As you might be able to tell just from the graphics. Um, this is a game that I've been meaning to play for a long time. I've actually had it for a long time. Installed on my computer for many, many, many months. Maybe even since last summer, I'm not really sure. I don't know, it's been a while and I've been meaning to play it, but for some reason I just haven't until now. Finally I realized, hey, I should actually play this game because from what I've heard, it's pretty damn awesome. Yeah, I've heard really good things about this game. Um... Alright, so yeah, since it came out in 1998, with well, such an old game, you really have to worry about compatibility. And the copy that I have right now comes from GOG.com. A link to it will be in the description, where you can find it for yourself. And they've done their magic on it to make it compatible with modern computers, as they always do with their games. Uh, but despite that, on the site, on GOG, it's actually only listed as officially supporting XP and Vista. Not Windows 7, which is what I have. So because I have Windows 7 and I wasn't sure if it would be compatible with it, I played it for about a half hour just to make sure everything would work. And amazingly, it actually seems to work perfectly fine, which blew me away. I'm actually, I'm actually running the game in compatibility mode for Windows Vista, which is something I never thought I would do. It, because I'm pretty sure running in compatibility mode for Vista means that you've just made something more unstable. I, I don't think emulating Vista can ever make anything better. <laughs> but, but since Windows Vista is listed as the latest supported game on GOG, I figured it's probably better to emulate that than XP, since XP is, at this point, pretty much ancient. Um, is there anything else to mention? I think that's pretty much it. Yeah, alright. The only other thing I want to mention is that when I first got into the game and looked at the menus and stuff, what, um, what it immediately reminded me of, the whole menu system in the entire game, reminds me of the old days when you had like 56k modems dial up and you connected to a some random like GeoCities page that some random person made and it was filled with animated GIFs and horrible color schemes and your cursor would change to something else and it was just, you know, flashy and obnoxious and filled with sounds, and that is precisely what this menu makes me think of. Just just look at this. Stare, look at the icons. What do they do? Most of them, you have no idea what they do until you actually mouse over them. So already, that's a functionality fail, but then look what happens when you do mouse over them. Text options. Text options. Audio options. Settings. Audio yes, each one has a horrible, hideous audio options. moving icon when you mouse over it and an obnoxious audio clip. Text options. Yes, thank you, game. I can read. Audio settings. This is like the worst part of old websites. This is a type of design that I was, I don't know, was this common in old games? I don't know if it was, but. If it was, then I'm certainly glad that it's gone now, because this is really obnoxious design. It's not a big deal, right? I mean, I'm not making a serious complaint about it. It's just a menu. I mean, you're not going to spend much time in the menu, but I just find it kind of darkly humorous how horrible this is. Load. Save game. Like, it almost looks as if the menu itself is designed to make you insane. As if it's designed as a joke to be as ab obnoxious as possible. <laughs> it's just horrible. But the one thing I do like about the menu, well, other than the music, the music is really good. Ooh, listen to that. Oh, 
God, that's good. Other than the music is the fact that there's eyes in the center of the screen that I don't know if you noticed, you probably did. They follow the cursor. Look at that. They're always looking at you. Okay, well, time to start a new game. New game. And amazingly, for a game that came out in 1998, one of the first things that goes with old games is the cinematics. By go, by the cinematics going, what I mean is they tend to not work. They tend to just break and not play correctly, or if they do play correctly, often Fraps, which is the recording software that I use, just won't pick it up sometimes. But amazingly, they play fine and they record fine, which blew me away. 1998. This game came out 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15 years ago. 15 years ago. In computer terms, that basically means it came out in like a different universe. It's so different, but somehow it works. New game. Begin new game? Yes. You're not going to believe it. I found the answer. All those years, I should have seen it. There's more. I'll, I'll, I'll tell you when I get home. And here you go. Now we delve deep into the wonderful world of sanitarium. How horrible. What kind of place is this? Filled with incredibly terrible looking graphics because, well, I'm sure it looked good for the time, but I mean, come on. It, it came out in 1998, okay? It's gonna look bad. Those weird looping animations. You can see the loops. Like, you can see where my character's animation loops. It's really distracting. But let's ignore it. Just, just ignore the graphics. Not a big deal. I can always look past graphics. Well, almost always. Alright, so I finished this section here when I was testing the game to make sure it works. I've gotten past this first level, if you could call it that. So the first thing I'm going to do to preserve my sanity and your sanity is turn off the alarm. Let's go do that, shall we? The switch must control the alarm. Finally, that thing was driving me crazy. <sighs> Take a deep breath now. I can think. Wicked ghost, get out! Get Al out of here! Although you still have the screaming patients, which are kind of distracting. So yeah, the uh, the movement system is actually surprising to me. I don't know if this was common in old games, but um, I assumed it would be the point and click sort of interface where you click somewhere and you go to that location. But it actually doesn't work like that. You actually hold down. The right mouse button. Get out! Get out of here! Yes, thank you for the running commentary, crazy person. Um, you actually hold down the right mouse button and move in that direction. So it's like this. I'm holding down the right mouse button. Which is not what I expected. Don't know if that was common, but it surprised me. Do it! I won't face your volcano or your god! Go, 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 go away! You know, surprisingly, I actually think it gives me more presence in the game world. Which is really interesting, because it's- Oh my god, you're gonna drive me crazy, dude. Please shut up! It actually makes me feel like I have more presence in the game world. And I'm going to stop trying to talk about game design while that crazy person is shouting. So yeah, if you go, if you go into something, then it kind of just like... has this bubble of vision that you can see around. It's kind of weird looking. It's hard to tell what's inside and what's supposed to be outside. 
Kind of awkward. Another bed. Ugh, smells like it's soaked with urine. Hmm. Ugh, these beds are filthy. What horrible living conditions. Yeah, these are practically like cells. Just tiny little stone rooms. A towel might be useful. Listen to that wonderful sound. Smack. 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 That is the sound of the person's head bashing into a bloody pulp against the wall like a, a rotten watermelon. It is a very disgusting noise. Ugh. Hello, person doing a chicken dance. There's something you don't see every day. Okay, yeah, so something that I think that's worth mentioning. Ugh. Yes, let's talk about this while we hear the sound of that person splattering their brains against the wall. Um, something that I think is worth talking about is... I mean, if you look at this, right now, you got this... I'm in an asylum with the crazy people. You have a crazy person. You have another crazy person bashing their head against a wall. You have a crazy person, I'm using air quotes here, a crazy person doing like a chicken dance. It's very absurd and stereotypical, right? I mean, there's no doubt about that, right? Hold on. Get, get outside. There we go. I think this person stops talking if you go in here. Yes, okay. Whew, thank God. <laughs> um, it's very absurd and it's very stereotypical, which... would definitely be eye-roll worthy and just obnoxious and stupid. Like, I would just say this is horribly written. If... If this was intended to be a serious representation of... Okay, thank you for the yawn, main character. Whose name I don't know because he doesn't even know his own name. God damn it, I lost my train of thought because of the yawn. I need Ugh. to get moving. Fine, I'll move in a circle, you asshole. Let me talk. I guess I'm seriously going to have to do this. <laughs> okay. I'll do it. I will do it. I would see this as very poor writing and maybe even just insulting. If they actually seriously thought this was an accurate representation of mentally ill people. However, I don't think it's meant to be taken that way, and I'm certainly not going to take it that way. Because the game world, I think, how I'm choosing to take the game world, is... Imagine... Imagine... Like, this is the character... Imagine we're inside of the character's mind, right? Like, this is what the main character thinks a nuthouse, or an asylum would be. And now we've entered the character's mind. And that's how I'm choosing to take it. So it's like it's like a bizarre dream, nightmare, ridiculous kind of exaggerated interpretation of what it would actually be like to be in here. I mean, just look at this architecture. The architecture doesn't even make any sense. No asylum would be built like this. It's just weird. So I'm not taking it as a serious representation of mentally ill people. I'm taking it as a kind of as kind of like a ridiculous dreamlike, surrealistic sort of thing, which I suspect is going to become more apparent later on in the game, because I think the game gets more and more surreal. So, yeah, I think it's worth mentioning, because if they actually seriously intended this uh, to accurately represent the mentally ill, it would be incredibly dumb, but I don't think it's supposed to. So, just getting that out of the way. Alright, let's go talk to the locals. A beautiful and very strange. <gasps> Whoa! Yeah, as you can see, the game world is not exactly realistic. It's definitely a dreamlike state. Where. Let me unzip my jacket here, it's getting kind of warm. Where, um. Pretty much anything could happen. Having this sort of a statue inside makes no sense at all. It's even more extraordinary when it's lit up. It is really beautiful, isn't it? There's a locking mechanism in the base. But what for? Hmm, I can't imagine what that's for. It's totally not for a key that I'm going to find later in the level. <clears throat> um... Hi? Excuse me, sir. A towel. 
might be useful. Excuse me, sir, would you like a towel? No, I don't think so. Okay. That would hurt. Diagnosis crazy. Yep. At least this one looks friendly enough to talk to. Does he? He doesn't look friendly at all. I won't do, 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 do it. I won't face your volcano or your god. Go, 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 go away. Can I ask you something? Can I ask your name? The, the, the Don. I haven't heard you before. Who, who are you? I wish I knew. I, I can't remember my name. I was hoping you might know me. Stupid voice. Are you a sp sp spirit? Spirit? What? I'm no spirit, just a man like you. Like me? The the then you c c can hear the voices too, can't you? I'm not sure. These voices, spirits, ghosts, whatever they are, who are they? The fallen warriors. They demand vengeance. The fallen warriors. <laughs> what are you talking about? Vengeance? What is it they're demanding vengeance for? T -t -t temples The fallen temples! C -c can't you hear them? C -c crying out? Is this the temple? Is this place one of the fallen temples? N -n 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 no If you don't n -n know that, you're not the w w w warrior I thought you to be. You thought I was a warrior? Why would you think I'm a warrior? I'm a man covered in bandages in an asylum who doesn't know his own name or how he got here. Something here is familiar. I keep thinking I'll get it. Where are we? I know something that you don't. This, this is the, the village, st stupid voice. What village? Doesn't this place have a real name? Of, of course. It's the village. The b b best place for people like you and me. The doctor here has resource. Resource. Re He's very good, Dr. Morgan. He s s says I'm lucky to be here, and so you must be l l lucky too. Good for you. Well done. <laughs> Thank you. Um, I don't feel lucky to be here, though. This looks like a nightmare world. All right, hold on. Uh, before I continue, I will be right back. All right, I am back. Tell me about this Dr. Morgan. How can I find this Dr. Morgan? I think I need to talk to him. He'll find you. The b b b best witch doctor in the land he is. He'll save us. Can you tell me where anyone is? Dr. Morgan? Anyone? They f fled. Cowards. No, 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 not, not great warriors like us. Oh. But not Morgan. He'll f find us. Oh, great. Morgan the Witch Doctor will find us. That sounds comforting. Why are you in this place? What brought you here? Isn't it obvious? I did di di ding from him. Him? I don't. Sh sh shut up, or he'll hear you, stupid voice. Great. Everyone's hiding from him. That's comforting. Ugh. God, the noise is horrible. There was someone who did a similar thing with the bashing their head against a wall in Outlast. And I still remember the noise as their head slammed against the wall. Ugh, it's disgusting. Come here, little buggy. <laughs> you think you oh, he looks, fast. um, occupied? He seems familiar, but I can't quite remember. Yeah, let's just leave him be. Well, actually, wait a minute. Can I talk to him? Hello, I don't believe I know you. What's your name? Lenny. I'm Lenny. Lenny's my name. Well then, you must be Lenny. You wouldn't happen to know my name, would you? Nope. Mom says not to talk to strangers. Oh. Well, 
I don't mean to worry you, but you're never going to see your mom again. It doesn't matter what she thinks. I mean, um, where is everyone? Where is everyone, Lenny? Where you should be. You should listen. Mother made them all go away. Did she? Um, tell me more about your mother. I must not have heard her. Lenny, where did she tell them to go to? To school. Yeah, she made them go to school. Well, since I didn't hear your mom, can you tell me how to get to school? Oh, God. Okay, that didn't go so well. Lenny, do you know where we are? This is my room. My bedroom. Do you like it? Bedroom? No, I mean the building. What's this place we're in? What's it called? My house. Okay. Um, something tells me Lenny is not going to give me any useful information, but what the heck? Let's try. This isn't your house. Yes, it is. Why? Why are you here, Lenny? Can you tell me that? I was very, very bad. Bad? I can't believe that of you, Lenny. What did you do? I, uh... I ate some pumpkin pie. <laughs> oh my god, how long is this dialogue actually going to continue? Pie? How could you get in trouble for that? It came from the patch. A pumpkin patch? Where is it? Where... Okay, yeah. Nope. Goodbye. I'm sorry, Lenny. I'm stressing him out. What's he doing huddled in a corner? Trying to hide? Excuse me. Do I know you? Your name is... Uh... Martin. Martin, I said. Uh... Do you know... Do you know who... Can you tell me my name? How the hell should I know? How can you stand all of them buzzing? Constantly buzzing. Where is everyone? Cowards, all of them. When the alarm went off, they left us behind. Probably in on it with the bugs. Wait till Doc Morgan finds out. It's a conspiracy. All right, well, it seems like everyone knows Doc Morgan, so apparently he's popular, at least. What is this place? A nut house, you fool. A nut house? It looks so old. What do you mean? Nut house. Looney bin. Funny farm. What don't you understand? Well, there's a lot I don't understand. For starters, why are you here? Damned bugs are driving me crazy, but I'll find their hive one day. <laughs> Doc Morgan's a great help. We'll squash them, and that'll be that. Once again, Dr. Morgan. So far, the two people that seem to recognize who Dr. Morgan is seem to have a very high opinion of him. So apparently he's, well, loved. Tell me about these bugs. What bugs, Martin? I don't see any. Maybe they're not real. Are you serious? These blood-sucking insects are bent on destroying the world. Martin. All right, welcome back. The game unfortunately crashed, which is very unfortunate because the game does not seem to have any autosaves whatsoever and I had not saved. Yeah. Like I said before, <clears throat> Like I said before, I played the game for about a half hour and did not have any crashes, so I thought it was stable. Um, I'm hoping this is just a one-off. And is not going to be a recurring thing, especially because of the lack of autosaves. And also the fact that the quick save key, of which there is actually one, there's a quick save key in the key configuration. However, it doesn't seem to work. I press the key and simply nothing happens. So I guess I'm going to have to make a lot of manual saves. Um, yeah, we'll see how this goes. Also, right after it crashed, I spilled tea all over my mouse pad, which sucks. So now, as I, as I talk right now, my wrist is wet, because my mouse pad greedily sucked up all of the fluids that fell onto it. So this is wonderful. I'm having a really good recording session so far. How was your day? I'm just kidding. Don't answer that. I don't care.
I'm just kidding, I do care. How was your day? Okay, let's continue. I think I was about here. I think it was mid-conversation. But I don't think I asked about Dr. Morgan or the generator, so tell me about... <clears throat> I have something stuck in my throat. Tell me about Dr. Morgan. There's a doctor around here? Doc Morgan? Exterminator. That's what he is. The best there is. He kills bugs. Dead. But they always come back. Oh. <laughs> they always come back. A generator blew up? Are you deaf or something? Yeah, the generator. It powered the tower. Big thing. Fire, flame, fuel, heat things. Stuff happens and zing. You got power. Don't you know how things work? All right, yeah, yeah, I, I know what a generator does. Although it seems like there's some power because the alarm went off. All right, goodbye. Hey, uh, who are you? Oh my god, what? don't! <laughs> my god. Welp. Shouldn't get too close to the edge. That's a nasty drop. Goodbye, person who I think had his pants pulled down to his ankles or something. I'm not even sure. I didn't get a long enough look at him. Right, so this was the generator. Keyword is was. That must be the generator. They said it could explode any minute. How do I get out of here? Alright, so yeah, as you can see, I need to get to here. However, the bridge is not extended. So, how do you solve that, you ask? Well, let me show you. I, I assumed initially that the solutions in this game would be logical puzzle solutions. However, I quickly discovered they're not, as you are about to see. Here's how you get down there. Remember that towel that I have? Yes. That actually just happened. No one in their right mind would ever do that. So many things could go wrong, but... It's, uh, it's taught me not to think too logically in this game. After all, it is a surreal game, so I guess it makes sense, sort of, that these solutions would be sort of surreal as well. Anyway, let's extend this so I can get back out. Looks like some sort of control panel. Ah, uh, now we're getting somewhere. Okay, I feel better now. Looks like some sort of control tower. Yeah, one thing I really don't like about the graphic style is... I don't know if style is the right way to refer to it. But one thing I don't like about the, the visuals for the game, not talking about fidelity-wise, but just like... I don't know the right term. Design, I guess. Is the fact that when you go inside of something... You get that weird cutaway thing where it, it's showing you what's inside with a super awkward, super awkward transition. And even how it is now, a lot of the objects in here are just covered up. Like everything over here on the right side of this desk is just covered up by the bit of the bit of the wall here. It's really awkward. It's not super clear to me what's inside and what's outside just at a glance. It's very confusing visually. It feels kind of... it just feels awkward. But it's not a big deal. There must be something valuable in there. But how do I open it? Well, this isn't working. Alright, it's locked. The drawers are held shut by an electronic lock. That's not right. Hmm. Let's take a look at the desk here. Hmm, what's wrong with this thing? Hmm. The cables need to be plugged in before I can use the VCR. Fair enough. Alright, let's fix it. Yellow to yellow, red to red, and black to black. And... what button was it? This one? Boom! Play! Can you hear me? It's Dr. Morgan. Your delusions almost took the life from you this time. My face, it's in bandages. Where am I? 
who am I? You must have thought you had somewhere important to go when you stole that car. Oh, no. You did a lot of damage to that face of yours in the crash. I'm sorry. I, I can't believe. No apologies. All we need is your best effort. And before you can give us that, you need some rest. Bruce, help our lad back to his room. Don't worry, son. We'll talk again soon. Whoa! That short circuit opened the safe! Well, that's convenient. It's some strange kind of key. But a key to what? Hmm. Maybe the... Oh, I have no idea. <clears throat> statue, statue. <clears throat> Alright, so my current interpretation so far with the story is that I was a patient here, or at some place. I don't know if I'm actually... I seem to be in an asylum of the mind, not a literal asylum, but I believe I was a patient somewhere and stole a car and then crashed it and now I came back here. Because it sounds like I was a patient before. Remember when the game first started, someone said, like, nah, leave him here, he's the one that stole my... stole... Uh, yeah, stole my car. So it sounds like I stole the car of one of the workers at this asylum. And what did he say in the intro cutscene? He was talking to someone, his wife or something? And he said he's, like, he's finally found the answers to something, or like, all these years. Now I finally understand, something like that. So he thought he had some answer to something, and it sounds like he stole a car. And escaped, temporarily. Ah, quiet time. Not too quiet, I hear the distant screams of patience, but... Anyway. Yes, yeah, so that's my current interpretation of the story, but I'm sure it's going to change because it is a very long game with, I think, a very complicated story. And obviously, there's a lot of possible interpretations for what's going on. It's not a very concrete game, it's very surrealistic. Alright, what's in the drawers? Could be answers in here. An ancient key. An ancient key. Oh, whoops, that's my inventory. There we go. Alright, memo, key, escape. Mm, key. A letter for Dr. Morgan from a Professor Cunningham. Something about an ancient key found here in the asylum. The key you describe must be very old indeed. I have found documentation that may link it to Aztec culture. Though we'd have to examine the object carefully here at the Institute in order to confirm this theory. A memo regarding the Tower Bridge. Due to recent problems with the generator, all employees are asked to keep the Tower Bridge extended at all times. It will be extremely difficult to extend the bridge from the outer ring should the power go out. Yes, it is rather difficult, isn't it? You have to pull an Indiana Jones to turn it on. <sighs> Memo from the Chief of Security. It gives some details about a patient escape. Number 227. The memo says that the West Wing is inadequately contained, and all the patients have been transferred to... the tower cells. Here! But where are they now? Hmm. Patient 227 escaped. I'm guessing that was me. All right, well, let's get that. Oh, let's save first. Gotta remember to save. Load game. So yeah, let me show you the uh, the quick save in here. Keyboard configuration. I I don't know what this is. Switch to question mark question mark question mark. I don't know what the hell those are, but I reassigned the save key to see if I would fix it. The quick save key to zero. And um, it doesn't work. Like I press zero. Return to game. And it just does nothing. Right? I don't think that did anything, did it? Load game. No. Yeah, it just doesn't... Keyboard configuration. It, it doesn't recognize your key presses or something. It's so weird. It recognizes the key presses when you go to set it. Like here, I want to set it to zero. Recognized. Other keys, though, it just won't detect. Which ones won't it detect? Or maybe it just won't let you set it to keys that are already assigned. G... H. Yeah, okay, it just doesn't allow you to set it to already, already assigned keys. Let's try J! Return to game. Save 
Save Did game. it work? I don't Load think so. No. Okay, yeah, it just doesn't work. So save game. I have to manually save and have those obnoxious voices pop up every time, which is a bit of a pain. Yes, yes. That's wonderful. No, no, no. Return to game. And unfortunately, you can't press escape to get out of the menu. You can press escape to get into the menu. Return to game. But you can't press it to get out, so you have to painstakingly manually click on everything. It's a bit of a pain. And that's why I really hope this game uh, continues to be stable, aside from that first crash. Because I really don't want to have to save it like every five minutes like I did for System Shock 2. Yeah, that would be... that'd be a pain. Anyway, let's get out of here. I do seek the truth. The innocent abandoned. <gasps> I'm getting tired. Oh, Billy, are you still okay? So, this is now uncharted territory for me. This is as far as I got when I was testing out the game. I thought maybe you'd walked off and let me win. Let's just listen to their conversation for a minute. I win again, Billy. You can't never, never, never beat me. Billy is a loser. Billy is a loser. Wanna play again? I need to get moving. Poor Billy. Don't go there, Billy. I'll win in two moves if you do. No, not there either. Boy, are you stupid. Poor Billy. Jesus. There's something sort of weirdly disturbing about the Peter, fact that that person keeps talking about Billy. Ooh, you just wait till I'm big and strong. Then I'll beat you at every game. Never mind. I was going to say it was unsettling the fact that Billy never replied, but he just replied. Hm. It looks like the statue from the tower. I win again, Billy. You can't never, never, never be. I wonder if the statue is going to be the thing that brings me to the next level always. Want to play again? All right, so where the hell am I? Oh, I have to go out here. Hello. Hey, you big dumb. Oh my god. Come on, Billy. Let's play. You're not supposed to. Okay, okay. Oh dear god. Yeah, um, about the cutscene that you saw with the, well, all of them, but especially the one with the angel Don't statue there, that took me somewhere. I'll it has those weird scan lines in it. No, I, I don't know if that's like a video compression thing where they just cut out half of the video data with scan lines to save on space or whatever. But it burns my eyes, like it is literally extremely difficult for me to look at it. Having the alternating really bright whiteness and then the complete blackness was... It, it just like burned my freaking retinas. It was really hard to look at. Very disturbing. Oh, wonderful children playing. These kids seem happy anyway. It's okay though. I'm sure inside they're probably falling apart. Oh, there's a little um spa thing here. That's cool. Can relax, turn on the bubbles. Today's sermon, Psalm 551, The Gates of Heaven. This girl has two wooden legs. 
And she's able to do jump ropes with two wooden legs. Wow, she's gotten very proficient with them. Good job. I am impressed. Who are you? Megan Johns, but you can call me Pegleg. That's what all the kids call me. That's mean. I would never call you that. Thanks, mister. You're nice. What's your name? Good question. I... I can't remember my name. Oh, sorry, mister, but I'm not supposed to talk to strangers. Mother says that it's a bad thing to do. Aw, I guess you won't talk to me because I don't have a name, so I'm forever a stranger. Also, I just noticed the clock up here is going extremely fast and backwards. Hmm. Is your mother around here somewhere? I'd like to speak with her. Mother is everywhere. But you can't see her. Oh. Okay. Mother's everywhere. That's comforting. Yeah. Bye. Always watching you. Hello, Crow. Goodbye, Crow. Well, looks like the elementary school shut down. Schoolhouse. Why are these doors boarded up? No more schooling. Can I actually walk down here? Oh, I can. That is a crashed car. Oh dear God, that is loud. What the fuck? Why is that sound so loud? Mm. Jesus, I'm sorry for everyone for blowing your eardrums out, but it's blowing mine out too. Wow. Somebody needs a driving lesson. I smell gasoline. Oh. Probably should step away from it. Although I think stepping away from it might be, at least sound-wise, vastly more painful than getting burned in a fire if this thing explodes. Wait a minute, hold on. Can I open, can I open it up? Oh, God. Oh. From the fumes, I'd guess that the tank is full. Hmm. Maybe at some point I can siphon some out. From the fu- Somebody needs a drink. Alright, this is gonna be painful. I'm sorry. This boy looks almost normal. Huh. <laughs> yeah, I'm sure he's perfectly normal. <laughs> Hi there. Uh, what's your name, kid? My name is Timothy. Timothy O'Toole. But you can call me Timmy. All the other kids call me Timmy. What's your name, mister? I... I can't remember my name. Oh, I'm sorry to hear that. I'd like to talk with you, but I'm not supposed to speak with strangers. Ah, another one. Okay, need to know my name. Every time somebody asks me my name, I'm remembering a little bit more. Alright, this is going to be painful, but I'm going to check over to the right. Okay, go, go up. Stop. Oh, oh, thank God. Listen to that. What, what is up with that? Normal, normal, normal. And then, that. That is called audio mixing fail. Don't do that ever, dear god, don't. What is this building? Can I even go inside? Oh, I can. Hm. What is that? Is that a furnace or something? I see light shafts. Damn, useless crap. And I was so sure that I would find some clues in here. Damn, useless crap. And I was so sure that I would find some clues in here. Uh, it seems like you can't skip his comments. You can skip dialogue. But not his comments. Alright, yeah, looks like there's nothing in here. <laughs> um, let's check out the church. 
the church. A bell? I'll bet it hasn't called anyone to church in a long time. Probably not. The hands on the clock, they're, they're moving backwards. All right, let me save it. Save game. I'm sure I'll get faster at this at some point. You gotta press, I think you have to press enter. You have to press enter, it's weird. Return to game. I have returned. Feel dizzy. All right, he's remembering a wedding, but whose? There are some files here. Hmm. And this is a piece about the local preacher, a Reverend O'Toole. The Reverend claimed that the comet was the eye of God, a sign of heavenly anger towards the townspeople. A Reverend O'Toole, wasn't that, um... The last name of that kid I just met down on the beach? Well, I don't, I don't, well it's, I mean, it's not really a beach, but, you know, the sandy thing down there by the water. Maybe he's the Reverend's kid. Local man questioned in wife's death. Says that Marilyn Driscoll was found in her bathtub, both wrists cut. The police questioned the husband Jeddah as a matter of standard procedure. Hmm. Hopefully that wasn't me. An old church organ. The stained glass windows make me feel like kneeling. The stained glass windows make me feel like kneeling. Is there anything else in here? I don't think so. Nope, that's it. It's weird that this building would be open, but there's no one in here. Looks like there's been no one in here for a, quite a while because there's vines growing inside. Oops, I'm stuck behind the door. Right, did I talk to these kids? I don't think I did. Great, a bratty kid with two mouths. <laughs> Too far away. Tired. Well, oh, Billy, get closer are then, you Jesus. Still playing? Like here? I couldn't hardly tell. It was so easy to beat you. Really? I thought Too maybe far you'd walked off. Okay, and how about here? He hey, um, kid. Uh, what's your name? My name's Billy. What's yours? Max. Sarah would like to see you now. Uh, my name is Max. Oh, that's a good name. Better than Mr. No Name. I used to have a goldfish named Max, but my cat ate it. He pooped orange for two days. Oh, um, that's fascinating. Thank you for the story. Tell me about the town. Where are we? What's the name of this town? You are standing in the Booger Town capital of Poopy Land. Poopy Stinky Doo Doo. Enough, Billy. Aw, you're no fun. Billy, I hate you and I hope that you die. I mean, I mean, you're a lovely person. Billy, that angel statue over there, does it... I mean, have you ever seen it move very often? Stupid Mr. Orange Poop. You must have boogers for brains. Statues don't move. Well, this one did. It was... Well, didn't you see it? It carried me here from far away. I, I mean, it just wrapped its wings around me and... Stop it, mister. You're giving me the creeps. <laughs> I'm giving you the creeps? What game are you playing? Tic-tac-toe. Jessie's the best there is. Except when she cheats. She's the best, huh? Maybe I could play too. 
Got any tips for me? Yeah, stupid head. Don't lose. Gee, thanks. I don't have much patience for games, but I've got less patience for smart mouth kids like you. I don't mean to be rude, but what happened to your face? Me? Nothing. Mother says I'm handysome. What's wrong with your face, mister? Is mother making you handysome too? Uh, no, Billy. I was hurt in an accident. These bandages helped me get better. Don't go there, Billy. I'll win in two moves if you do. No, right. not there either. Boy, are you stupid. Can I actually play tic-tac-toe? Her hands and face are deformed. Who are you, young lady? My name's Jesse Hatcher. What's yours? My name is Max. Oh, that's a dumb name. Well, that's screw a you do. Thing to say. What would your parents say if they heard you talk like that? <laughs> They're not here, and you're not my dad. I don't have to listen to you. All right, all right. I see how it is. I'm gonna play her at tic tac toe if I can, and I'm gonna beat her into the ground. At tic-tac-toe, I mean, not literally, with my fists, that would be wrong. Where are your parents? They're all in. Jesse, shut up! He's a grown-up. You know Mother's Rule. Hmm, Mother's Rule. What's Mother's Rule? We... we aren't supposed to talk about our folks. If we do, we'll be put in... in the patch. <laughs> the patch? That's what, um... I don't remember I don't remember his name, but that's what the guy in the last level said. He said that he ate pumpkin pie from the patch, right? And that's why he got in trouble. So going to the patch could be a punishment. What is the patch? Tell me about the pumpkin patch, Jesse. What's so special about it? No one goes in there. Unless they were bad, like Maria. It's a bad, bad place. Hmm. I I don't mean to be rude, but what happened to your face? Huh? Oh, that. Mother did this. Aren't I pretty? I hope to be as pretty as Mother when I grow up. Don't you think I'm pretty? Sure. Uh, oh, yes. <laughs> You're very, very pretty, Jesse. My God, what's going on here? Yeah, Mother did that to her. If she's if that's what she looks like on her way to looking like mother, then what does mother look like? What game are you playing? Tic tac toe. Want to play? I'm the best there is. Sure. Can you tell me how to play? Well, you put an X and I put down an O. In the box is here. The idea is to get three across, or up and down, or diagonal. If you do that, you win. Okay, yeah, let's do it. Let's play a game. Then we'll see if you're as good as you say. <laughs> you probably think you're smart, but you're just a big, stupid boy. A simple kid's game shouldn't be too hard. <laughs> yeah. You know the problem is, though? I don't remember how to, like, I think there's, aren't there strategies, there's got to be simple strategies to winning this game, but I don't know what they are. So I'm going to basically go with a random strategy. Um, this could take me a million years to solve, I don't know, so let me try it a little bit, and if it takes me too long, I'm just going to cut out until I solve it. Alright, let's try. Well, that didn't work. Oh. I guess you're not as good as you thought, Jesse. <laughs> I let you win, because you're new in town. You're pretty smart, though, for a boy. I've only been beaten a couple of times before, but that's because there were all girls. Girls are a lot smarter than boys. Nuh-uh. Girls is stupider. Girls is Shut stupider. Up, Billy, you little retard. <laughs> Jesus. My god, these kids are horrible to each other. Yeah, um, I didn't use any tactics there at all. I literally just put down my first X in a random spot. 
And then after that, just tried to form, you know, a three in a row while making sure that she didn't get her three in a row. And that's all I did. I, there was no strategy, really. Just, yeah. Which girls have beaten you? Meg and Eileen. They're her bestest friends. Hmm. All right, let's go talk to the, uh, the other kids again, because this time, now I know my name, so now I won't be a stranger. You're Meg, right? Yeah, but you can call me Pigleg if you like. I don't mind. My name is Max. That's a nice name. Hey, now you aren't a stranger. Exactly. You really like to skip rope, huh, Meg? I'm sorry, but doesn't that hurt with your false legs? What? Oh, my legs? <laughs> it's okay. That don't hurt much. Besides, Mother says that once I'm finished growing, I'll forget all about my legs. Hmm. Yeah, now that you mention that, once you're finished growing, and now that I see this dialogue option, I just realized, where are all of the adults? I haven't seen a single adult here. I haven't seen any adults in this town. Where are your parents? Where are, where are all of the adults? Sorry, Max, but Mother won't let us talk about that. Why is that? Mother says that all adults except her are bad, and we shouldn't talk to them. Hmm. Adults are bad? I, I don't understand. Why does your mother distrust all other adults so much? She says that pride leads to their destruction, or something like that. What does that mean? I... Oh, I probably said too much already. I always say you haven't said enough, because I still have no idea what you're talking about. Um, do you want to play tic-tac-toe? Hey, Meg. I beat Jessie at tic-tac-toe. She said that you beat her once, too. Ha! Huh. I beat her more than once. I beat her four times. Four times? You must be pretty good. Thanks. Do you want to play? I, oh, I guess I can't play with her. All right, well, it saves me from having to do that game again. Which is good, because it could potentially take me a very long time. All right, let's go talk to the boy down here. I'm about to go through the painful sand. Before I do that, let me save. Save game. Return to game. And painful sound coming up. Three, two, one. Oh, God. Your name's Timmy, right? That's right. Uh, my name is Max. That's a good name. Now you're not a stranger. I haven't seen any adults in this town. Where are your parents? Where are all of the adults? Mother said that God made them all go away, because we're his special children. Special children? What does your mother mean by that? Mother said that God wanted her to protect his special children, so he sent her to save us. Save you from what? From the disease, of course. Disease? Mm-hmm. The disease of meat. M what? Meat? Is she a vegetarian? What's a vegetarian? It's uh, someone who eats plants, not animals. Well, I think that's what she is. Okay, I don't... I have no idea what this mother is on about. And nothing that these kids are saying is clearing it up at all. How are the fish biting today? Not so good, but I could sit here all day, so I don't care. You mean you never go into town? Well, only to go to church, but I haven't heard the call to mass in a long time. The call to mass? What's that? Father would ring the bell, but since all the adults went away, no one's been able to ring it. Really? How come? Dennis cut the rope so no one can reach it. Hmm. Well, something tells me that might be something I have to do. Alright, so that is the preacher's son. It's a shame you can't run. That'd be super nice. 